How's it going, everyone? We have the long-awaited official reveal of the Elden Ring expansion, and a lot of interesting news and notes regarding the expansion. The price point I find fascinating, and I think that means it'll be quite the expansive expansion. I guess that's in, uh, a redundancy of words. But nonetheless, Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree did get a reveal trailer, a three-minute trailer, and it will be coming in June. I've always noticed that the end of June is a period where a lot of developers Developers and publishers seem to drop a lot of content. Like last year, Final Fantasy 16 came out at the end of June. The beginning of June, you had the release of Street Fighter 6, and I want to say there was another big game that was completely escaping my mind, but this year's June looks to be pretty major as well, because Shadow of the Air Tree is going to be just as big as any major title release, because it is going to be priced at $39.99. Now, I know that Bandai Namco is Bandai Namco, and they do some kind of wild stuff when it comes to pricing and stuff like that, but... In the case of this, I do think there's an element of, yeah, it's the Elden Ring expansion. They can price it whatever the hell they want and people will end up buying it. But I also think it'll be a fairly sizable expansion. So we have a lot of details to go over. Obviously, watch the official trailer yourself. It's three and a half minutes in length. It goes in depth on the gameplay, some of the battles you're going to encounter. And it's going to be a sizable uh, expansion by the looks of it. Winner of hundreds of accolades, including the Game Awards Game of the Year and Golden Joysticks Awards Ultimate Game of the Year, Elden Ring is the acclaimed action RPG set in a vast dark fantasy world. Players embark on an epic quest with the freedom to explore and adventure at their own pace. The Shadow of the Air Tree expansion features an all new story set in the land of shadow imbued with mystery, perilous dungeons, and new enemies, weapons, and equipment. Discover uncharted territories, face formidable adversaries, and revel in the satisfying triumph of victory. Dive into the riveting interplay of characters where drama and intrigue intertwine that create an immersive experience to savor and enjoy. Obviously, if you have yet to play Elden Ring, the game does readily go on sale. You can find it for $30 to $40, but at the same time, from software games generally do hold up in price, and finding the game for $30 is going to be a little bit difficult. Now, as far as the additions of this game that will be released, you have the Shadow of the Air Tree expansion, the standard version of the expansion, available digitally on all platforms. You'll need to obviously own a copy of the game. Then you do have the Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree edition, special package bundle including the Elden Ring base game on disc and the Shadow of Air Tree expansion. Physical retail versions are available only for PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, available digitally on all platforms. Now, what isn't noted is the price point of this special edition. I can't imagine it's going to be $60 because... If it is $60, that's essentially them valuing Elden Ring at $20, bucks, and I don't think they're going to go the route of valuing Elden Ring at $20. I think, at the very least, the Shadow of the Air Tree Edition is going to be $70, bucks, which is kind of wild to think about, but you look at From Software titles, guys, Dark Souls 3 still goes for $30, Sekiro still goes for $30, DS2 goes for like $20, bucks, DS1 goes for like $20. From Software, more than like even Nintendo these days, their games hold up in price. Maybe not more than Nintendo, but on... It, at an equivalent level to Nintendo, their games hold up in price, and rightfully so, uh, because of the quality level, the content, the replayability. You get a lot of value out of FromSoft games, don't get it twisted. But the price points for the game are a little while comparably to everything else. You do have the Premium Editions. Premium Bundle includes the Shadow of the Air Tree expansion and comes with the digital art book and digital soundtrack bonus content for the expansion available digitally on all platforms. That is just the Shadow of the Air Tree expansion, so it's the premium bundle with some bells and whistles. I imagine that'll be $50. You have the Deluxe Edition, includes the Elden Ring base game, the Shadow of the Air Tree expansion, and comes with digital art books and digital soundtracks for both of the base games and the expansion available digitally on all platforms. Then you do have the Collector's Edition, limited quantity, and if you want this, I would jump on it as soon as possible. It's exclusively available to the Bandai Namco store. I hate when they do this because um, like Square Enix does this with the Final Fantasy games and generally speaking the publisher's actual storefronts are usually terrible but nonetheless Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree Collector's Edition includes a single voucher code of the selected platform for the Shadow of the Air Tree expansion and comes with an approximately 18 inch statue of Mesmere the Impaler 40 page physical art book and digital soundtrack quantities are limited and exclusive to the Bandai Namco Entertainment Store and then they do also go over exclusive merchandise pre order if you do want to check that out. Elden Ring is generally received to be one of the greatest video games of all time, and I don't think it's a stretch whatsoever in saying that. Um, obviously, like, I've never been crazy about the Souls-like titles, and I, I've played every single one of them, and I enjoy them for what they are. It's just, I'm one of those people you need to tell, get good, and uh, yeah, let's just say getting good is something that I'm not good at doing. Uh, they also 
note as far as a little bit of a background, the land of shadow, a place obscured by the earth tree where the goddess Marika first set foot, a land, a purge in an unsung battle set ablaze by Mesmer's flame. It was to this land that he departed, di divesting himself of his flesh, his strength, his lineage of all things golden. Again, a three minute reveal trailer for that, just four months away, four months to the day away. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what games come out at around the same time, because I remember when Elden Ring initially came out, the story was like Hor uh, Horizon Forbidden West kind of got the short end of the stick coming out right around the same time. And Elden Ring isn't like a GTA, so to speak. I know with a Grand Theft Auto releases and back in the day with Call of Duty releases, Call of Duty, not really the case anymore, but it was like batting down the hatches and get the hell out of the way so Elden Ring can have its shine or GTA can have its shine. Again, Elden Ring, quite not uh, at that level, and especially this just being an expansion, I don't think it's going to have, you know, as much buzz as Elden Ring, and I think Elden Ring had that element of a lot of people got super excited for it, not knowing what to get, and then they got into it, they played the game, and they realized that it was a little bit outside of their wheelhouse. I had people telling me, yo, is Elden Ring like Skyrim? And then they ended up buying the game, and uh, one of my buddies refunded the game and uh, literally said in the Steam refund section, I am not built for this, so... Yeah, he ended up getting his refund, so take that for what you will. But I'm sure that this is going to be a sizable experience that people are going to invest hours and hours into. And I could see it, given that it's $40, and part of that is, I am sure, Bandai Namco knowing that people are going to buy this regardless. And even if it was $30, it would sell just as much as it's going to sell at $40. This is one of those cases that I think they know what they have on their hands. And given, you know, you look at From Software Games and their price history, and I get it that this is quite a bit more expensive than other Souls experiences expansions and whatnot, but the Souls games have had season passes and things like that, so kind of the same wheelhouse as far as that's concerned, where you're going to get this one major expansion for $40, and it will be interesting to see what From Software is going to work on after this, and credit to From Soft, because think about it, uh, think about it like this, going back to 2022, every year they have put out a major game, Elden Ring in 2022, uh, Armored Core 6 in 2023, and now a sizable expansion in Elden Ring, the DLC Shadow of the Air Tree. You look at a lot of the other games, developers in the game today and I get it game development takes longer and longer but from software hits an incredibly high quality mark and at the same time they're incredibly consistent before Elden Ring uh their last release was Sekiro which was three years prior that's not that long of a time and they're just super consistent getting these games out and delivering high quality titles and Shadow of the Air Tree given that it is a sizable expansion uh this is another one that they're dropping in the year of 2024 but that'll do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below I'm sure a lot of you guys are super excited for it. June 21st is the date. $39.99 is the price. They will have a variety of different editions and bundles available, so check them out, and I'm sure we'll have more information as we get closer. That'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.